Do you want to know what is the origin and history of food science and food technology? Then stay right there because in this lecture I am going to talk about the history of food science and food technology for beginners. Hello everyone, I am Arib Irshad and welcome to my channel Food Tech Simplified where I post easy and simple to understand lectures on food science and food technology every week. Before starting, let me just tell you that in this lecture I have covered some of the major events and turning points that has shaped the food industry that we see today. And I have left out some minor events, inventions and researches just for the sake of keeping this video short, sweet and simple for a beginner. So let's jump right into today's topic, history of food science and technology for beginners. Do you know that most of the food that we see on the shelf of the supermarkets today was not available a hundred or a hundred and fifty years from now? This was because there were very few techniques to preserve the food. The food would spoil very fast and a lot of, lot of people suffer from food poisoning and even death. The food we eat today is completely taken for granted because it is cheap and easily available. The food you and I are eating today has been possible because of the efforts of a lot of scientists, researchers, engineers, food technologists, nutritionists so that the food you are eating is safe and healthy. But the process of developing food was not invented overnight. So what is the history and how food technology originated? Well, if you ask me. I think the preservation of food has been abundant since early humans started farming. Early humans realized the fact that they could not always hunt for animals or pluck fruits uh, from trees every day. And if they stored the food like meat, it spoiled very fast. So they had to develop some preservation techniques for eating the food even when they could not hunt or the fruits and vegetables were not available. Some of the earliest preservation techniques include sun drying freezing, salting, fermentation and so on. The downside of the early preservation techniques was that they changed the flavor and texture of the food along with a huge loss of vitamins most of the time. These techniques were not very effective for travelers and soldiers who needed a balanced and healthy diet. During the Napoleonic Wars, the French government offered 12,000 francs to anyone who could develop a method for preserving food for the military. In 1809, a French confectioner and a chef developed a method of sealing the food in glass jars. The name of that Frenchman was Nicolas Appert. The process was simple. He sealed the food in a glass jar and then heated the jar for some time depending upon the food. The method proved to be successful and he was awarded 12,000 francs. The invention of canning is considered as the major turning point in the history of food technology and food science. Because of his remarkable contribution, Nicholas Appert is also known as the father of canning. And even canning is sometimes referred to as appertization. Although canning was successful but the science behind its success was not known until 50 years later when a French microbiologist and chemist showed that growth of microorganisms is responsible for the spoilage of beverages. He also invented a process where milk was heated to a specific temperature for a specified time to kill the spoilage causing microorganisms. That French microbiologist was none other than the famous Louis Pasteur. The process he invented is still prevalent in the dairy industry and the wine industry as well. And in the honor of Louis Pasteur, the process is known as pasteurization. In 1895, almost 30 years later in Boston, United States of America, William Lyman Underwood of our canning company worked with Samuel Prescott to develop the research which would further lead to the concept of thermal death time. A lot of people don't consider this even when it comes to the history of food technology but this was also one of the turning points in the history as their research was important to determine the time temperature combination for a food. That simply means for how long a food will be cooked at what temperature. 
Since then, a lot of research and discoveries had been done, but in the 20th century, food safety was still an issue. In 1960, the Pillsbury Company, NASA, and the USA Army Laboratories collaborated to develop safe and healthy food for the astronauts. Eventually, they developed a systematic preventive approach to ensure food safety, and that came to be known as the HACCP. H A C C P. I will do a separate video on HACCP because this is another important and big topic. But all you need to know for now is that HACCP is a preventive tool used in food industry to ensure safety of the food. HACCP is prevalent today in each and every food industry. and food safety is incomplete without the implementation of the hasap program since the development of hasap there have been a lot of rapid growth in the food technology and the food industry the food industrialists have adopted newer technologies the latest technologies to process the food in a faster and efficient way so these were some of the major breakthroughs in the history of food technology Let me know down in the comments if I have missed any important event or research or a discovery. Like this video if you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel for more lectures on food science and food technology. Thank you. Class dismissed.